Okay, so this is our living room when you walk into it. And I think I'm gonna put some shots in the beginning so that you guys can see it a little bit better. Normally, if you guys know, that gate is actually around the living room. It's from Walmart and it's wonderful because William can play in this living room and this is a huge spot to play on. This is a nine by 12 rug. So we have a really big living room so we put that gate around and he can run and play but then I don't have to worry about him getting into anything that he's not supposed to. So this is a different angle and I'm just gonna start in one corner and show you everything I got and where I got it from. So let's get a little closer here. So right here, this pillow I absolutely love. Let me turn on the brightness. Now, <laughs> excuse the missing cup holder. William likes to pull those out and put them back in and he actually put it under the couch. So I need to like recline this and get it, but I just didn't have time yet. So this pillow I absolutely love. I need to take that tag off. I wanted to make sure it looked good before I took the tag off, but it is from Home Goods. And then that pillow behind it I've had for a while, but that is also from Home Goods. Now this right here, um, I wanted a little pop of color and this is just from my grandma. Now over here, the only pillow I changed out for fall is this one in the middle and it says thankful and blessed and it's from Hobby Lobby. This pillow says home on it, but I didn't think it looked good with the fall decor so I just flipped it around so that it was a like a plain gray. Now up here on the wall, all I did was change out the florals. So typically there is a eucalyptus garland right here and I just switched it out for this garland that my grandma had given me and it just has the fall, typical fall leaves. Now this planter normally has lavender in it and I love how it looks, but I actually decided to switch it out for these from Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it. Switching out the florals just made such a quick and easy difference for fall. And then the next thing we switched out for fall is normally there's a blue and white striped pillow here and I switched it out for this pillow from at home. Now if you turn this way, you're gonna end up at our fireplace. So this is what our fireplace looks like and I'm gonna start up here. So this is just a little plant that I got from Marshalls that I always have and then I took one of these little things that are like a dollar at Hobby Lobby and just stuck it in there and I just, oh I need to take the tag off that too, but I feel like it just adds a little something for fall. Now down here, as you can tell I switched things around from my Decorate With Me video and I kind of toned it down a little bit. I felt like it was getting a little too colorful in that video, so this is what I came up with. So, over here I have this pumpkin, and it is from um, Home Goods, and I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful and it adds a little bit of glam to my farmhouse style. Now, this is just a wedding gift. This, these books are um, from an Instagram account and um, her name is Kimber and I'll have it linked down below. And then I have a little pumpkin on there from Hobby Lobby. Now over here, this typically has lavender in it as well and I switched it out for some new fall florals from Hobby Lobby and I love how it looks. And then that pumpkin and that pumpkin are from Hobby Lobby as well. Okay, so this is probably the biggest change from my fall decorate with me video. So I changed almost everything that was sitting on this entryway table because I just wasn't happy with it. So I'm just gonna start over here and show you everything that I got. So once again, I just switched out florals and all of these florals as well as the pumpkin is from Hobby Lobby. So same with that other side. Now I already had this and I just switched out the florals once again. Typically this is on my dining room table. This is what I had from last year, but it is from Marshalls. This thankful sign I love, it's huge. It's super thick, when I got it in the store I thought there was like three of them stuck together and that's from Hobby Lobby as well. This is another one from Kimber and then this is from Hobby Lobby. Now these are just always down there and um, these are just from an assortment of places. I think one's from Home Goods, one's from Marshalls and one's from Hobby Lobby. 
This is from Home Goods, I believe. This is from Marshalls, Hobby Lobby, and Hobby Lobby. Okay, so as most of you know, we just moved into this house a couple months ago. So this is our dining room. It's barely decorated. Um, really nothing on the walls. It's actually a really decent, good size room. This is just like a little column. So there's a lot I could do with it, um, but because the room is so basic and I didn't want to spend a ton of money on fall decor, this is what I came up with as the centerpiece. I'm not still, I'm still not like 100% in love with it, um, but these pillows I had from last year and then this sign is from Hobby Lobby and it just says blessed. Now ideally it would be cool um, if I had the money to like switch out the curtains because they are a little bit summer-like. They're like a navy blue, but like I said, we just moved in so I actually just bought those. And then over here in the little cutout leading to the living room, I have my diffuser as always. And what I did is I just put it on this little wood like tree trunk cutout thing that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got this during the 80% off sale, so I think it was only a couple dollars. And then this is from Hobby Lobby as well. This, I believe, is also from Hobby Lobby. It's actually a cup, so it came with a straw and a lid, but I just use it to have water nearby my diffuser so I can fill it up at any time. And then the diffuser, of course, is from Young Living. And then over here is just a little floral arrangement from my grandma. So the kitchen area is another part of our house that's not really decorated yet. There's like nothing on the wall. I have this huge wall right here and I'm not sure what to do about with it. I've thought about maybe getting like a hutch or like a big clock. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me down, know down below. So all I did, I thought about just changing out these florals. But I just didn't want to spend any more money, so I just took one of these little pumpkins that kind of matches the eucalyptus and just put him right there. Okay, so I'm not really sure what happened to the audio in this clip, so I'm just doing a quick little voiceover. There's not a whole lot going on in the kitchen. I just added a couple pumpkins from the Target dollar spot last year, as well as a hand towel from Marshalls. But that is pretty much it for the home tour. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. It helps me out so much. And make sure that you're subscribed. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Back